Hi everyone, my name is Lydia and in today's video I'm going to share with you how to use Pinterest for business. So first of all I'm just going to tell you why is it important to have a Pinterest business account, what are the differences between a normal Pinterest account and a business one. Along this video I will also share with you how to set up your Pinterest profile so you can get more views, followers and eventually traffic driven to your website or business. Alright, so let's get into the video. First of all, let's look at the differences between a normal Pinterest account and a business account. A normal Pinterest account doesn't show a cover, doesn't show your claimed website, doesn't allow you to enable rich pins, it looks a lot weirder and narrowed down, and it's not really making a Pinterest user want to follow it. A Pinterest business account, however, allows you to enable rich pins, you can claim your website and it will show up beautifully on your profile, the name and the description of your profile stand out, you also have a cover for your profile in which pins from one of your boards will show up. Besides that, it also shows your board, pins, people you're following, people that are following you really beautifully and put together. Another thing is that you can have a slider in which five of your boards can be featured on your profile. Now, besides the way it looks, a Pinterest business account also gives you access to analytics. So that means that you can not only follow your analytics for your Pinterest profile and see how much you've grown, but you also can see the numbers from your website if you connect it to your Pinterest profile. You can see exactly what pins people have pinned from your website into Pinterest and all sorts of things like this. Okay, now how do I set up a Pinterest profile so that it drives me traffic to my website and all those things in the long run? So the first thing you need to do is obviously create a business account as we've talked about. Now if you already have a Pinterest account and you don't want to switch the email and all those things, you can just turn the one that you already have into a business account. The first thing you need to do after that is go to settings, write your name and a short description. We're not going to leave those like that, but just to kind of have your profile a bit set up and then I will tell you what to do. The next step is for you to go and actually search for keywords in the search bar and you search for a keyword and then you click enter and the color tiles that appear on the top of the search bar. I mean just below the search bar are just keywords that are related to the one you already searched. So basically those are keywords that people actually also search with the keywords that you put in. So that makes you know that people are searching for those keywords as well and that you need to include those in your board description, titles, your profile description and your title. Now for your Pinterest profile, as a title, don't just use your name. For example, my name is Lydia, but I haven't just put my name in. I put my name and what I do. One tip that I have for you, on the computer right now, on the desktop, Pinterest doesn't allow you to put more than 30 characters in your name, but if you go to the app on the phone, they allow you to put more than that. So I would suggest doing that, installing the app on your phone, because I also have Lydia as Pinterest VA social media manager and business growth strategist. I think this is important to also have keywords in your name because when people search for Pinterest VA or social media manager, they will find my profile and they will find a lot of other useful resources with my profile. So it's very important to also include keywords in your title. You can do the same exact thing for your description. So don't just be like, hey, download this or check out my website. In the description, you have to describe what you're doing and who you're doing it for but make sure to describe that in your own way, in your own style, and using keywords. The next thing you should do after this is create a few boards. Now, what boards should you create? First of all, try and think of boards that are relevant to your niche. Write like 30 of them down and then narrow them down to the one that you enjoy the most or you think you would enjoy pinning in the most. Because if you create boards that you don't even want to pin in, it's useless. So try and create boards that you enjoy and that are related to your niche so, so people know what your profile is actually about. Now when you create these boards there are three very important steps you need to remember. Step number one, the title. Don't make the title too long or too short. Just try and include what the board is actually about. Don't go around it. People need to know what they will find in that board. And also try and include keywords in the title and the description. The description needs to be fun, needs to be thought. Don't just include a bunch of keywords there. Instead, try and create a description that sounds like this. This board is all about cooking. In this board, I will be sharing healthy recipes that I enjoy cooking for my family at home. Also be including recipes of some healthy desserts that I like. I hope you will enjoy them too. 
something like this try and make it as human as possible don't be like a robot that are just trying to get keywords out there and people to follow their profile and the last thing that you need to do for your boards is to remember to choose a category so if your board doesn't actually fit into any of those categories make sure to choose the other option Besides the boards that you're creating specifically for your niche and specifically for proving what your profile is about, make sure to also include like if you create 20 or 30 professional boards, make sure to also include 5 boards that are personal. So what are personal boards? For example, on my profile, even if my whole profile is about Pinterest VA and just freelancing and entrepreneurship, I try and include boards like women's fashion, Christmas time nails, hairstyle, makeup, all these kinds of boards so people will see what you actually enjoy. Okay, now that you've kind of set up your profile, we have a few boards, you have SEO done right, now you have to go and claim your website and enable rich pins. Claim your website, you have to go to settings, claim website, they will give you a code that you put into your website and after that you go and put the link of your website there, you click claim website and then the website will be claimed as yours in your profile. To enable rich pins you have to put a code into your website as well and then you have to go to the rich pins validator and in that rich pin validator all you have to do is put the link towards one of your blog posts or a post on your website so don't put the link to your actual website but to a post that you've done in that website and then you're going to click validate and that will enable rich pins they're probably going to tell you which pins will be enabled, I will send you an email when this will be done or something like that. Besides your boards and personal boards, I think you should also join a bunch of group boards. So for example, you should join as many group boards as you have personal boards and niche boards combined. So if you have 30 boards, try and join 30 group boards that are in your niche so you will be able to pin your own pins about your website and business into those Boards. As far as finding and joining group boards, you can find a lot of group boards on pinggroupy.com. I'm going to leave the link down below. You just go and search for the type of group board that you want to join and they will give you a few options. As far as pinning your own content that you created, I suggest that you create pin graphics in Canva and those pin graphics should have your branding in it. So after you create pin graphics, make sure to pin them into relevant board first and then you should have an anchor board. What an anchor board is, is a board where you pin only and only your content. Okay, so that's basically it for setting up your profile, but I do have a few tips for you so you can keep on growing your profile. The first tip is to pin every single day and to pin your own pins into group boards as well so they can get reaping from there and also make sure to follow people in your niche every single day another tip is to be consistent with your pinning so don't be pinning two days in a row all day long and then for three weeks don't pin everything it's really important for Pinterest to see that you're an active user and that you pin every single day Another tip that I have for you is to document your Pinterest analytics numbers. Make sure you document those numbers every single week or month so you can see growth. The last and most important tip I have for you is to be patient. So don't go crying after a week or two that your Pinterest numbers are not blowing up because that is going to happen but it usually takes around 3 months for you to actually see big results from your Pinterest profile. Now there are two other things that I want to share with you. The first is that I'm Pinterest VA, so if you need help with your Pinterest account because you don't have any time to do it or you just don't want to wait and learn all the ropes for it, my Pinterest VA services will be listed down below. Or the second tip that I have is that if you have time and you want to grow your business yourself and you want to grow your Pinterest profile yourself, is to purchase an ebook about Pinterest strategy. The one that I recommend is the She Approach to Making Pinterest Possible and I'm going to link that down below. So that was it for this video. I really hope it helped you out and you're motivated to go and grow your Pinterest profile and your business now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and leave me a comment down below telling me if you have any questions or if this video was helpful to you. And also don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting videos on entrepreneurship, business growth and success every single week.